Santos Youth Ministry Advent videos. Today we are going to be lighting the third candle uh, for the third Sunday of Advent. And on the third Sunday, it is my favourite. It is the day that we rejoice. It's the joy candle where we really take great joy um, and in remembering and preparing for Christmas and everything that that means. In the first week of Advent, we looked at hope, we reflected on preparing our hearts for the coming of Jesus. In the second week, we um, reflected on peace, filling our hearts with um, God's peace and taking the time to be silent and still in waiting. Excellent. So we've already lit those candles because we've been uh, praying with those all Advent so far. So today, shortly, we will light the candle of joy. Um, now, the candle of joy... Um, is one of the, the few times, or the third Sunday, the whole third Sunday of Advent is um, one of the only two days that we actually use pink in the church. So the priests, if they've got them, will wear pink robes. Um, they've got official words, but let's call them robes. Um, and, and they'll use pink um, throughout the church. And it's, it's the third Sunday of Advent. And it's one of the Sundays in Lent as well. Is it number five? One of the Sundays is also the, joy, the, the Sunday of joy in Lent, where we remember with great joy everything that Easter means to us as well. Uh, so as we prepare to really sort of embrace everything that Christmas means, um, the coming of Jesus, Jesus choosing to be born as a human on Christmas Day and coming to earth to walk as one of us, we remember this with great joy, hope, and we have that peace in our hearts as we go. So just because we've moved on from those Sundays doesn't mean we, um, we forget about them. We hold on to those. Carry um, them in our hearts. Exactly. Exactly. Um, joy, you've got a lot of, um, a lot of I, like, great connections with joy. You have your middle name. Yes. Is, is, so you, Christian joy. Yeah. Um, what does joy mean to you? Joy means having that um, gratitude in our hearts. Even in times of hardship yep. and trials, so having that always with us and knowing that Jesus is with us all the time, um, no matter what, um, and yeah, giving thanks and yeah for all the good things, all the goodness and the blessings that we receive from Jesus and having Him as yeah the light in yeah. our world. Yeah, oh beautiful. Um, Look, the joy, the joy weekends, the joy Sundays, where we really get to experience that deep, it, it's more than happiness. It's really this sort of real heart moment, mm -hmm. like it's that, that time where we can really connect with our faith and with, um, and with the community around us. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to um, continue our tradition of, of lighting the candle as part of our prayer. So we begin, um, as always, when we say a prayer with the sign of the cross. So in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as Christian lights the candle, the pink candle, the third Sunday, um, the candle of joy, let us open our hearts to accept that joy into our lives. We'll pray together now um, with the words that Mary gave praise to God from the Gospel of Luke. Mary's Song of Praise. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked with favour on the lowliness of his servant. Surely, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. 
according to the promise he made to our ancestors, Abraham and to his descendants forever. So Jesus, Mary accepted you into her heart and life with great strength and joy. We ask you to help all of us find that same strength and joy in accepting you into our hearts as we continue to prepare for Christmas. Amen. Thank you once again for joining us. Um, I am really, really loving our time spent with our Advent wreath this year, so I hope you're enjoying it too. I hope you're lighting your candles at home or doing something similar. Um, I, I'd like to challenge all of us to actually take some time this week to think back. I don't know about you, but I often, when I get busy and stressed, especially like during the Christmas season, I stop doing the things that I love to do, the things that bring me great joy and the things that connect me with the greater world and with God. Um, I might still be praying, I might still be stopping in silence, but what I'd actually like to encourage everyone to do, to challenge everyone to do, is actually to, to stop and find some time to go do something that brings some great joy. Uh, maybe for me, I might spend some time sewing. I haven't done any sewing for quite some time. Um, so I might actually, I'm hoping this week, I might actually have time to do some sewing and maybe make a new dress or a new skirt or something. So I'd like to challenge you to do something that brings you joy this week and you as well. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh my gosh, it's been such a long I didn't time. even tell you that was our challenge for the week, did I? Putting you on the spot. <laughs> oh, well, I'd love to get back into like um, making cards, especially Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, so dabble in the watercolours and yeah. And what a great thing. It can be, I find that the creative um, side of me really helps me connect um, with that joy, but also with God in a more, mm. I know we were speaking about it earlier this week, that creative spirit. Mm. Um, God is a creative God and we are creative, creative people. So connecting with that, it brings me joy. So find what brings you joy and, and go and do it this week. I really, really challenge you to do that. So thank you for joining us again and we look forward to seeing you again. Well, we look forward to you watching this video again next Sunday. Thanks. Bye.